Okay, so it was asked the question, um, a person had a some stuff come up with a family member on a trip and um, there was some stuff. And the question now is, do I go back to that family member and get it and be with that member until it's resolved and clear it? Or do I just let it go and release it? I also get a feeling uh, that I'm not doing enough. Well, I think the, I do get where that comes from. I do understand and relate to that. So uh, for, usually I think for nearly all human beings, family members represent huge karmic um, opportunities for undoing karma. I mean, you don't have family by accident. They are quite a strong bond. So um, there's usually heavy karma stacked in there. Um, I think um, it's just a spiritually um, intuitive thing based on where you're at as to whether you go back. And it's an intuitive thing or just pray to, to God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit for guidance and whether you should just let it go, or whether you need to be with the situation in order to clear it, either now or in the future. Um, my, my thing is... Um, usually um you can't get away with it if it's meant to be so you can i think it's usually okay to try and just let it go and trust that if you're meant to bump into that family member again very soon they will come you don't have to force it so um it's like okay i'm going to let it go but i trust the i trust god i trust the universe that sometimes it can actually be a paradox in just saying i'm going to let it go they'll come to you very quickly because as you're trying to let it go it's like the karma there will suddenly bring them back into your life very quickly because there's something left to do or it might not you might be able to be you might be at the stage where you can just drop it and it's finished so i think um i th you know i think um one thing, and I remember Hubbard said, I mean, you know, you don't have, you don't always have to hunt for your karma. It, it will just show up, you know, and it'll automatically show up at the right time. So I think it's okay to pursue spiritual work. Um, sometimes it's the right thing to go back and you feel like a draw to go back and clear the karma with the person. And sometimes it is just let it go. And sometimes in letting it go and just dropping the identification with the whole story, if there is something more, they, they will come in if they need to at the right time for you to clear those patterns that are not yet resolved karmically. So um, so I think that's why that thought, I'm not doing enough, um, is, is just trying to indicate, it is a limiting belief, but it's trying to indicate, is it the right thing to do to go back and clear everything that needs to be resolved so it feels clear? Or should I just drop the whole story and let it go? And I think I mean, my feeling with something like that would probably be uh, to first try and just let drop it and stop identifying it and just trust if you're if it's meant to have another interaction with them soon, um, that will automatically happen. Uh, so, um, but it is a thing of oh, it just asks the Holy Spirit for clarity on that situation to just drop it or to clear things or be with the person so as to have them in your vicinity to clear away anything that's still there. Okay, I'm going to stop on that.